Hello, I'm Mardianto, a senior technical account manager here at the AWS office in New York City. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the AWS command line interface on an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance to work with an Amazon DynamoDB table. Let's get started. First, let's create an AWS Identity and Access Management role for our EC2 instance. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the IAM Console. In the navigation pane of the IAM console, choose Roles, and then choose Create Role. For Select Trusted Entity, choose AWS Service. Choose EC2 as the use case for your service. Use cases are defined by the service to include the trust policy required by the service. Then choose Next. Find and select the Amazon DynamoDB Full Access Policy. For this video, we'll use full access permission policy for the role. However, it's a best practice to follow the least frivolous principle for a production role to perform a task. Choose next. Enter a role name or role name suffix to help you identify the purpose of this role. Role names must be unique within your AWS account. Let's leave the other settings with their default value, review the role, and then choose create role. Now, let's attach the IAM role to the Amazon EC2 instance. In the EC2 console, choose Instances. Select the instance, choose Actions, Security, and then modify IAM role. Select the IAM role created earlier to attach to your instance, and choose Update IAM role. Connect to your EC2 instance. There are various ways to connect to an EC2 instance. In this demo, I'm using AWS Cloud Shell to connect to the EC2 instance. When we are in the EC2 instance prompt, run the AWS configure command. Hit return when prompted for AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key. We don't need to provide these keys because we are using an instance IAM role for an AWS service. Enter the correct region name for your AWS resource and hit return. In this demo, I'm using the US West 2 region. Hit return when prompted for default output format. Finally, let's run the DynamoDB list tables AWS CLI command to confirm that we can now run DynamoDB commands through the AWS CLI. The command returns all Amazon DynamoDB tables that I have in the US West 2 region. To work with DynamoDB resources in other regions, you can also specify the region name in the AWS CLI command. So now you know how to set up AWS CLI on Amazon EC2 to work with Amazon DynamoDB table. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <music>